Oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface. With so much of the Earth's surface taken up by ocean, it's evident how vital these marine environments are to the planet. There is much still to be explored. The bulk of life on Earth is aquatic. Since majority of the Earth's surface is underwater, it comes as no surprise that marine species outnumber those on land. Less than 5% of the planet's oceans have been explored. According to the Ocean Service, man has explored less than 5% of Earth's oceans. As researchers strive to discover more, we're continually getting to know our oceans better. The world's longest mountain chain is underwater. Earth's longest chain of mountains, the Mid-Ocean Ridge, is almost entirely beneath the ocean, stretching across a distance of 65,000 kilometers. It's said that this mountain chain is less explored than the surface of Venus, or Mars. Underwater shipwrecks. There are more historic artifacts under the sea than in all of the world's museums. Many underwater museums have been created in recent years, including the Mediterranean's submerged bronze statue, Christ of the Abyss. Unknown marine species. We only know a fraction of the marine species in our oceans. According to the World Register of Marine Species there are now 240,470 accepted species, but this is believed to be just a small proportion of the species that exist. Over 70% of oxygen is produced by the ocean. It's thought that between 70 and 80% of the oxygen we breathe is produced by marine plants, nearly all of which are marine algae. The Pacific Ocean is the world's largest ocean and contains around 25,000 islands. With these many islands lying within it, the Pacific Ocean has more islands than anywhere else on the planet. There are rivers and lakes beneath the oceans. When salt water and hydrogen sulfide combine, it becomes denser than the rest of the water around it, enabling it to form a lake or river that flows beneath the sea. Around 50% of the US lies beneath the ocean. Not only does a large part of the planet exist beneath the ocean, so does the United States, around 50%, in fact.